Can you smell it too? It's a raid of damn faithless Imperials from the Planetary Environment Defense Organization. <laughs> no! They want to pound me from a distance. You can't pound me from a distance. Ah, oh, that's a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people with mortars too, which I'm not super pleased about. Shit. Well, we've got a very nice, very defensible kill box made from concrete, baby. The problem is, uh, yeah, concrete generally isn't a, a long-range weapon that I can really do anything with right now. Brainy, uh, Brainy, sweet Brainy, who has no armor, Brainy, I want you to go out there and I want you to shoot them before they mortar us. Is this dangerous? Yes, absolutely. Is this a terrible, unthinkable idea? Maybe it genuinely would be faster to craft some... Craft some shells. <laughs> Make a nuclear warhead. <laughs> That's great. That's very funny. You just wake up in the morning. You know what? I feel like uh, today, I've just got a very special plan. And in fact, that special plan is basically what we're going to do today, right? As soon as we're done dealing with this crap, my goal is very simple. Nuclear power. With the warm boy and the spinny boy and then the power gentleman. This is going to be revolutionary because there's one problem we've had since the start of this campaign. No, it's not tactical misplays. How dare you? It's a lack of power, both in game and over our own very... Dear existence, that's dangerous, isn't it? What are you gonna do with that, huh? Oh my god, look, it's one of those situations where they haven't turned up with mortars again. Sometimes they turn up with fortified artillery, and then sometimes they... Wait, can you just not build it? Uh, artillery. Um, they've got the blueprint, but not the materials. That's amazing. We just starve them out, then. There's been a change of plan. Everybody go and hide for a while. Oh, you picked a terrible time, my friend. Hello, how are you doing? Let's see what they've got. Industrial supply? You got anything that helps me build a nuclear reactor? Robotic arms. Ooh. UAV. Advanced AI. What the hell am I going to do with any of this stuff? They've got minified buildings. Factory research terminal. Oh, give me that. Have you got any, like, power grid, though? Oh, Jesus. Look at all this stuff. Quantum assembler. Auger drill. Combine any of those. Oh. Automated mining operations can draw insectoid infestations to your location. Oh, wow. Normally, I have to click the ads in the sidebar for that. Um, I'll take some drills. Give it to the people in the basement. Oh, volunteers. Overclocked assembler. Any random in the I idiot in the colony could do better, but this machine works at a ridiculous rate. Automatic concrete. Oh, Jesus. I can't afford this. Why have you got to turn up now? Here, here. I can afford it. Let me just sell some of my copious amount of... Uh, <laughs> Illegal human labor based resources. Twice the machinery, twice the concrete. 1700 watts. Oh my god. <laughs> um, That might be off the table for a while. Grid excess of 3200. Actually, we could run one of them. We could run one of them. I need to get that nuclear reactor online. Okay. Hold on. I, I forget about the raiders. Forget about the raiders. Get the concrete, aut automated concrete set up. What's this thing? Factory research terminal. I think connects up to. Uh, it connects up to a research bench, right? Yeah, I think so. Well, let's chuck it there. Not not like there. I'll move it in a second, but that's good enough. Thank you, J.U. Supermart. You might want to leave now. We're in the middle of, well, a, apparently a siege. Automated concrete. Is it that easy? We just do that, and then you need stone chunks. Uh, I think we've used up pretty much all of them. Hang on. We've got 14 there. Okay, and then you take that, and then you put it next to the machine. No, not there. Why are they being put there? No, 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 that's not right at all. Put that next to the machine, and then... Oh my god, automatic... Ah. Uh. Hey, where's my concrete? Placing concrete blocks. Yeah, just put it Just put it down, though. No, don't put it on the machine, you idiot. Dwarven efficiency. Oh, sweet dwarven efficiency. This is great. Oh, this is amazing. Because now, given that all of our defenses are built out of the finest dwarven concrete, if they get knocked down... We have machines that are automatically making new ones. All we've got to do is feed it limestone chunks. Which I presume we've got... Or any stone chunks. Which I presume we've got one or two of down here, right? Where are you putting all those chunks, though? Where have you, where have you put all those chunks? Wait, did we turn it all... Oh, there's loads down here. Hey, get these moved. Oh, what? They gave us a, a Galatross. The Galatross is untamable and quickly returns to the wild waiting to die. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Thank you. What a gift. You've given us a dying, leaky old monster. The enemies are still there. <laughs> They're just wandering around. Okay. Good for you. I mean, the filth waiters are here in five days, so you're you're their problem. You're just going to repeatedly get fed. 
All right, you know what? Forget about it. We've got nuclear research to be doing. So my goal is to get a spinny boy online by the end of today. We've got a thousand research to go until we can start with a high-risk experiment with research reactors. That sounds very much down my down my street. Oh, I've got to build cooling towers. You build them out of concrete? Boom, there we are. Research nuclear reactors. Now we get to do a high-risk experiment with the... Oh, this step has a chance for catastrophic failure. Nah, you'll be all right. You got brainy on it. No power. Oh, shit. Hold on. Uh, here. Have we got enough power in the grid to be able to do this? Barely. We've got 10 watts left over. Wow. Really good power management. Just great. Green, you can come out and help with this simultaneously, right? We can have two people working on it. Nothing to worry about. We've got top men on the job. Top men. Okay. No catastrophic failure. Look at that. Now we have to build a reactor core. Reactor type A. Okay. Uh, I'm sure we've probably got more than enough resources thanks to our friendly basement volunteers, right? Rim Atomics, reactor type A. Um, we need a lot of room for this, don't we? I need to make this bit more convenient to get to. Because this is the bit we have to manually refuel. So I'm going to put that there. 350 steel and 12 components for those of you at home who want to build along. <laughs> <laughs> Try it yourself. Just build a nuclear reactor, see what happens. There's a chance of catastrophic failure, but nothing went wrong for me, so I'm sure it'll be fine for you too. I'm not an expert, but I feel like building a nuclear reactor in the dark is, is a recipe for disaster. Go stick some lights on. You can hold the door open, and that's fine. What's it gonna do? Spew on toxic radiation? No, because we don't have any radiation detectors. If I can't see it, it can't hurt me as far as I'm concerned. Perfect. Okay, what do we do now then? Uh oh, they've just got a they have to finish building it. No, you're right. They, they have to. They have to work on the uh, on the internals when they've got the base unit down. Very clever. There you go. That that bit actually might take a little while. Now I think our volunteers down in the basement deserve a uh, a little gift. Can we build this out of concrete? You want me to use reinforced concrete for that? No way. You get steel. Oh my god, they're actually attacking. I thought they'd forgotten about us. I was just gonna leave them there until the next raid turned up. Fine. Um, let's go to position two because I don't think we'll get all the way down there by the time they. Yeah. Yeah, they're obviously going to blast over here too fast, aren't they? Holy shit, though. The amount of firepower. The amount of firepower we can put down, even from that distance, is amazing. Holy shit. Because I suppose if it's all embrasures and sandbags... Oh, my God. I mean, the chance of, like, say, this one back here hitting them is going to be quite low. Because he's got a... Like concrete. Uh, you know what, squad? In hindsight, position three. Position three, please back off. Oh my god, it goes to show how powerful counterfrite armor is when they tank like 10 different mini turrets firing all at once. You're right, bigger. You got uh, stabbed in the neck, but that's okay. Sorry, punched in the neck. You're fine. And you might think, oh, all the stuff's on fire. That's terrible. No, no, no. A, a, a wall of flame around our embrasures is only a good thing. That seems totally fine to me. Uh, oh, I was about to say, can we shoot that one? Apparently, we very much can shoot that one. Well done, team. Look at that. We lost like a couple of turrets here and there, but I'm not really surprised. I did want to upgrade these. We've got some much better ones now. We've got that research, right? Yeah, look. Machine gun turrets, although they are manned. Hang on. Do we have any unmanned turrets that are slightly better? Uh, Not... No. Not, none at all. We have no manned defenses. That's manned. Yep. That's manned. Yes, it is. Cannons. Manned. Quad machine gun. Manned. Shit. Okay. Well, look. That's going to be like a... That's future Rim Atomic. So we've got like energy weapons and crazy stuff like that. We'll get there. It's going to take a while, but we'll get there. we just got to survive that long cataphract gear. Give me that. John, give me your gear. Is it biocoded? No, but it is very much damaged. Did anyone else survive? It was just poor sweet John. John, are you good at mining? John's okay at mining. He's got a passion for it. Let's put that passion to good work. I said, um, sorry, maybe I misspoke here. Let's put that passion to, uh, <laughs> to good work. Charge LMG. Okay, hold on. Uh, let's swap your crap weapon out for... That, and then we can reverse engineer this bloody thing. Oh, we can't even... Oh, we can't. Oh, never mind, I suppose. Blinding flash, what do you mean? A blinding flash of light has emanated from the facility. Are they okay? Smashy's not bothered. You can't stop Smashy with just a flash of light. Oh. Uh, is he permanently blind now? Flash blindness minus 100% seeing. Oh. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Um, Smashy is now permanently blind. 
Ah, uh, he's still good enough to work on a nuclear reactor, though, so how bad can it really be? What I've had Snow doing, then, is sending gifts down to our volunteers in the basement. We've got, uh, uh volunteer straps for everybody there. And then after, as a reminder, these people tried to kill us, okay? I don't need you guilt tripping me about this. Oh, <laughs> classic Brett. Yeah, your comments are very funny. Ignoring the fact that these people turn up to our front door with a gun trying to kill our people, okay? They're just working off they're dead. So, uh, I'm gonna have to suspend this manually because we're sending it to a different floor. Oh, build a reactor core. See, it couldn't have affected him that much. Was that temporary or is that... Oh, it was temporary. Oh, okay, that's good because that would have been a real problem. Oh, man. There is barely anything left of these dwarves. <laughs> Every episode I say, well, I'm surprised no one's died. Except... They're not going to last much longer at the rate we're going unless we can beat it to prosthetics. Wow, that looks cool. So at this point, we have to make the uh, turbine generator. We also have to make... Wait, what about the rods, though? We need to build uh, the... What are they called? The mox rods? Fuel rods? Fuel rods, mox. That's right. I vaguely remember this. I haven't used it in a very long time. I played it a lot before, though. So we've got to somehow find a way to make those. I presumed it would. you would invent the fuel for the reactor... Oh, maybe maybe that doesn't make sense. Which came first, the reactor or the fuel for the reactor? Okay, then we build a turbine. So we're going to throw that one right there. That needs turbine blades, which we make at a machining table. I'm an expert. I remember these things. We haven't got enough power. Oh. No, it's not this machining table. There's a room atomics machining table. You see, I thought you got me on that one. What do you mean missing components? I have dug up hundreds of components. Oh my god, look at how far they've gone. Wow. What do you mean missing components, my guy? That seems ridiculous. There's some right there. Oh, they're being sent down a floor. Oh, well, that's not right. Why is... Why is that happening, I wonder? Uh-oh, stinky. <laughs> I might have worked her a little bit too hard making clothes for the volunteers. Um, she didn't even finish it. One weren't remaining. What's wrong with you? Did anybody get clothes? Not really. I mean, not in the way that I'd like them to have clothes. They got boots. That's a step up. Literally. Ah, and a turbine. Thank you for saving me from myself. How are we looking there, then? So now we connect that up, and then we have to connect it up to cooling, too, if I remember correctly. Uh, yes, good. Build a turbine generator to connect the reactor to the turbine. How do you do that? I'm wondering the same thing. It's been a long time since I've done this. Uh, we probably... Do something. <laughs> steam pipes? Right, you take the hot steam, steam turns turbine, and then you take the cold water, and we connect them both up. Maybe. Maybe not like that, though. Hot water turns out, but you need to cool the reactor. Maybe that's the next thing to do. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Oh, there we are. Perfect. Okay, step complete. Now we have to build a cooling system. Obviously, I have to build... So we can build a few things. We can build radiators, which will just passively uh, blast out the heat. We can water cool it. Or we build enormous concrete cooling towers. I feel like building it there, though, is terrible. But it would look amazing. We're just going to have to shore up the defenses if we do that. So cool though. Ah. Um. Oh, I've got to do it. It's going to look so cool. <laughs> and that's all I'm here for. That's all I'm ever here for. Oh, and then we've got a coolant pipe. Right. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and get that done preemptively. I'll carefully run it so we don't have to look at pipes like we used to. We've moved on from that. Though they're a nice aesthetic, they're also hideous for me personally. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mine shafts are terrible, right? They don't produce resources or anything other than stone chunks, but I need stone chunks to make concrete. So what if we hollow this out and we put a robot working in the mine effectively as a, as a kind of pseudo deep drill? So we just, we just slap that bad boy down there. And then in theory, that's all it'll take. Brainy, get out of here. We got mines to build. You're supposed to be dwarfing it up. Come on. Reinstall this little fella over here as soon as it's built. Oh, in theory, this might not work. I've not tested this. Oh, it does. <laughs> we can only have one on at a time. Um, so we just have you churning out... Uh, get, get limestone. Limestone's been our guy so far. Get me all of the limestone. And then you just sit here and you limestone it up. You limestone it up. Oh. Oh, that's good. But the power grid, though. How are we looking? Minus 2,000 watts. Nah, not a fan of that. Minus 900 watts even now. Um, we can turn off the research reactor in the... Oh, maybe we can't, though, because we're still testing things. Shit, does the cooling power... The cooling tower need power? Oh. <laughs> we're so close. Um, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. The defenses has to have to take precedent, because we don't have defenses. We're just going to get steamrolled. You mind 15? Yeah, that's good enough. Right, turn that shit off. There you go. 
Good enough for now. We'll turn it back on when we need some more chunks in a moment. What's wrong with you? You need, you need four columns? That's why I made this room bigger. Sometimes my... Uh, my brain does things that my uh, my subconscious does things that my brain doesn't understand and then sometimes it works out fine that looks hideous oh this looks like shit this is awful maybe it's like interpretive dwarven architecture that i'm just too smooth brain to understand why didn't i build those out of concrete well, it's very concrete heavy concrete and steel that's good colonists can gain expertise oh my god please tell me it's mining expertise it's gotta be right Ooh. Mining yield or mining speed. Mining yield. Obviously mining yield. Collins can gain expertise. Uh, pruning, harvesting, sowing. Oh, no. No, no, no. Save it for mining. You're almost there. Uh, we need a research project. Okay, let me take some of this crap off because this is all over the screen. Um, whoa! No! Bruh, these are all good. Auto cannon turrets. Deep drilling. Multi- I've got to take the multi-analyzer. Don't even think about re-rolling that. Just, just set and forget it. Okay. No storage connected to the nutrient paste network. That's fine. I built those as a future-proofing thing. Honestly, I'm just going to uninstall them for now. Um, because that's going to get very annoying very fast. No storage connected. Slaves unattended. Slaves unsuppressed. They've been fine. We haven't been... Slave rebellion likely. There are seven slaves that are likely to initiate a rebellion. It's going to happen roughly once every zero seconds. Look, they're just not rebelling. Is it because we've got them trapped down here in a place where they can they they can't escape? So what's the point rebelling, right? How bizarre. The rebellion chance independence. So one of the rebels. Okay. Once every day. There's all the stats final interval one day. But they're just not rebelling. I think we found a way to cheat the system. Who needs deep drills when you've got this going on? This feels a lot better than just setting up a bunch of boring old automated deep drills, right? Oh! Uh! I think I told them to deconstruct rather than to turn off. Oh, it's all right. I have that problem in real life with my PC. Hello. How are we looking? Here we are. Green. Stick with it. Don't go to bed. I'll tell you when I've had enough. Come on. Oh, come back. And nuclear power. Boom. Step complete. Power needed 550 watts. We can just about do it. Tower blocked by roof. Oh, don't tell me that's got mountain above it. No, 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 no. Why would you even let me build it there? No, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. Oh. Shit. Um. Bollocks. <laughs> you, can't, you can't uninstall and reinstall those. Well. That was a good use of shitloads of resources. Well done. Well, it's just a waste of 500 steel just like that. Why don't we try some other type of cooling? Why don't we cut our losses on that? Uh, I want to have a look at where's the water cooling. Water cooling. Needs a larger body of water. Well, I mean, we're next to the bloody ocean. I suppose I could throw it in there. Yeah, but then raiders could get to it, and I don't want that. Um, oh, that's really annoying. Uh, what if I just build it there and then surround it with a layer of concrete? We, put, we, could, we could just build it there and then cover that in concrete. And then, I mean, I don't really care about the cotton or the pollution. And then we just take more concrete and we, we encase it in that. Boom. There you go. And then there's, look, there's a gap there for the door so that we can maintain it. Because everybody knows you only need... Uh, door made of steel requires... Ta no, 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 you don't. Fine. Wooden door for the nuclear cooling tower. That's totally acceptable. There you go. Occupational health and safety. Never heard of it. One hour before the next raid. I just don't understand why nuclear science takes so long and is so complicated. What are you wearing? I mean, I, you wear what you like. That's up to you. Uh, I just don't think it's... Oh, hello. I just don't think it's very defensive for the purposes of imminent murderous pollution people. <sighs> Go on. Get out of here, John. Welcome to the welcome to the squad. Welcome to the volunteers. All of this in case. Are we, are we still ready to go? Why has that not got power? Of course it hasn't got power. There's no fucking power left. Because we've taken five years to build one reactor. I like the realistic reactors, though. I, th I feel like it's much more earned. You know, it's very easy to get a lot of energy with some mods. But this really really does make you work for it, huh? Come on, then, filth waders. Wade through my filth. Mmm, you like that, don't you? There's, like, a few of them. That's a child. 53. Uh, not a child. A full-grown person. My mistake. Just very short. Telling me people can be short and not children. That's that's insane. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Oh, this is going to be a massacre. Wait, they've turned up with... Oh my god, it's, a, it's an entirely sniper raid. Look. Uh, maybe standing outside is a uh, shit plan. Uh, why have... Hang on. What the hell? You've got snipers and you're coming within range of all of our people. It's just, just enormous brain room world AI, as per usual. I'll take your armor, though, if you don't burn beforehand. This is the worst raid I may have ever seen. 
<laughs> Bar none. Is this all, uh, it's Castle Wall and Brages, yeah. Um, sure, Brainy, you really drive me mad with this. I know you love your grinder, but for God's sake. Right, let's move, uh, these three to here. Let's move these three to here. Smashy. Oh, I don't know, just get behind some cover, something big, man. We might as well, given that they're walking close enough that we can... Is that it? Like, right, right over, though? You got some armor for me? Oh, no. Uh, There's one group dealt with. Hey! Oh, we can next wave. Ten scythers. Oh, my God. I dread to think what that next wave was if we hadn't weakened it. Uh, Give me your armor, though. Yeah, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Whoa, whoa, stop, stop, stop. Stop being on fire. Stop being on fire. How does every raid end up in a blazing inferno? Those people had snipers, and it's still gone horribly wrong. Right, give me your clothes. Those are mine now. Oh, oh shit. Well, <laughs> it belongs to the flame. Yeah, no, wear the recon armor. Can I wear it burning? Oh, I think that's a skill issue. Oh my god, that thing's just gonna disappear. Go and put the fire out. Put the fire out. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, you know what? This isn't worth the risk. What the hell am I doing? Got two people adjacent to every single square covered in fire to try and get recon gear. We'll, we'll, we'll make our own, okay? We'll make our own sooner rather than later. You're all putting on the dresses that I intended for the... That I intended for the volunteers down in the basement. I mean, again, totally fine. Wear what you want. It's just I'd appreciate if you were wearing something with a bit more, um... A bit more defensive capability. Oh, hold on! <laughs> I just pieced that together. You're telling me that we can't put a door down on a wooden bridge because it can't support it. Oh. Oh, you took more damage than I anticipated. You lost a hand. Oh, that is unfortunate. Oh my god, there's going to be nothing left of these people. Sorry, I, I bet you apparently you can support a whole cooling tower. Aren't they notoriously quite large and heavy? Stop fucking beating the fire out! I don't care if plants burn. Oh, because they're oh, they're a little bit close. Oh, no, I don't care. Here, clear, clear the home. This is not home. This is not home. I hate flowers. Go home. Brainy's fine. Brainy's fine. Oh, right, because of course it was just a missing limb. You could just patch it up and you're good as new. There you are. Problem solved. Uh, except everything's very slow for you now. Oh, God. All right, prosthetics then. Okay, I've put it off as long as possible. Um, let's go leg... Oh, God, what's the efficiency on these, though? Is it still better to steal it from down, people? Uh, efficiency, 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 efficiency. 80%. That's fine. That's, that's, that's totally okay. Because then we're also not gambling on uh, things like rejection. Though I think that's only for internal organs. Let's do that until we've got uh, maybe one of each. Maybe two or three of each now that I think about how much is missing. We haven't got enough watts to turn on the table. Okay, how long till that cooling tower's done? Are we almost are we almost there? Brainy was our builder. Oh shit, I guess it's Smashy now. Smashy, get this cooling tower built. As soon as this is done, in theory, we can turn the power on. No, we can't because we've got to make some fucking fuel for it. Oh, I've had her make um uranium fuel rods. Why can't we make those? What are we lacking? Uranium pellets. Oh, I told her to only make shit. I meant to say 500, not 50. There you go. Snow, get on this. I want us to be just ready to go, like, immediately. Can I make uranium rods? Under skill required 12, and now we've run out of power. Ah! This is a nightmare. We're, like, so close to... To victory. <laughs> and I just can't get it. Um, shit, what can we turn off here? We've got a lot of lights. These lights are, like, 30 watts apiece, and I've got 74 of them. Work in the dark for a while. You'll be fine. Oh, the spotlights are 250 watch each. And we've got 10 of those. To be fair, they may have saved us. What about the regular lamps? 15 apiece because we've got the advanced lights upgraded. Ah, uh, this is so frustrating. It was so close to power. Power is done. So now in theory, all we do is we throw down a high voltage transformer. And then we should have enough power for everything. And I never have to worry about anything ever again. Okay. Good. But we're at the control console and connect to the core using controller loom. Fine. Okay, so let's... Uh, why are you pointing me at that? Is that the right thing? That doesn't seem like the right thing. I'm going to put that there. <laughs> Seems like a very a very unsafe idea. But it's not as if this is a high-risk series or anything. I don't have enough room, do I? Because we now need somewhere to be able to produce... To be able to produce and store fuel rods. Ah. Uh, um. Ah. Uh, e ah. Okay. So, uh, we dig out this. That's good. That's very smart. We got enough power to even turn on the reactor console, or is that is that done for? Done. Yes. You no longer limited to building one of each part of the reactor system. You can expand by adding more cores and turbines. Great. Uh, okay. You haven't told me how to make fuel. I can figure it out. It's not a big deal. But that would have been nice to have 
you know, beforehand. Fuel reprocessing, energy weapons, control rod actuators. These are the things that I uh, more quickly turn off the reactor in the event of a horrible, uh, horrible emergency. So maybe this would be good to build. To be fair, maybe so would the radiation detectors and the radiation suits. So why start? Do I start with that? You don't need to worry about it. Carry on as we have been. So with the fuel rods, can we just load them right into the machine? Can I just say storage? Uh, yeah, cool. Don't you use the thing to set up a... Oh, it's coming back to me. Hold on. Requires an intellectual. Uh, brainy. Brainy. Right, get it. Manage... Bruh. <laughs> I should play CSGO or something. Uh, we will load a rod there. And then we'll load a rod there and there and there. And there and there and there. And just don't keep them adjacent because we need fuel. Hold on. How many rods is that? That's nine rods. If I do it the other way around, it's more rods though, isn't it? Okay, so that's 12 rods. Very good. Big brain. Uh, then... We load the rods. We never do loading. Ah, oh, good, 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 good. Um, crafty can load. Crafty, load. Yeah, we don't need to keep the rods in storage. We can just we can just plug them in. Oh, this is fine. We'll just keep them on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> we could. You know what would be big brain? Digging out a different layer to store all the nuclear material, all the all the fissile, fissible dangerous, horrible materials, and then I could just stick them down there and we can pull them up when we need them without any risk of radiation poisoning or leaks or death. Radiation death. What I am concerned about is I'm running uh, high voltage lines on top of underground power conduits on top of plumbing. I guess it'll be okay. Hold on, all of this is interoperable because it's the same, it's all dubs mods. Uh, can we, we can plug the reactor into, if I'm not mistaken, you can do something like you plug the reactor into the the water towers. Obviously, uh, not just a, you can't just like take a uh, Acme style water tower and then plug that into a reactor. That's not going to work. You remember me saying all that stuff about how the mods interact, but I also couldn't figure out why the cooling was low capacity. Oh, it turns out it needs water. Turns out that exact thing I was talking about was the, was the problem. There you go. That should solve the water problems. Well, when they finish building the plumbing, I suppose. Hey! Come back here. I don't care how many arms you've got. I want this reactor finished. Right, okay, now. Hey, there you go. Low reactor cooling. So that's just got to fill up, I presume. I also figured out that they built the ENIAC, which uses 5,000 watts. So my, uh, my joke about using 3,000, 4,000, 2,000 was actually completely under. Couldn't have been further out. Well, I could have. I could have said, like, 7 million. But that would be... No one would believe that as nonsense time. Drafty has gotten food poisoning from a... Psittacosaurus egg. Maybe you shouldn't eat those, moron. As long as it doesn't get in the way of you crafting more nuclear rods, I don't care what you eat or get food poisoning from. So that's all good now. Yes, there we go. Okay, that's filling up over time. The reactor... Yeah, should we just, like, start it now and see if the cooling is sufficient for that before I fill it up with more rods? That seems like a good idea. Eight intellectual. Brainy. Brainy, come over here. Let's see if... Okay. And then we turn this up. Good... Good. Ah, oh, warm, warm, warm. Okay. And we can just turn that up a bit more. A bit more. Oh my god, hang on. We can crank it all the way. It's there's enough cooling. Look at look at this. We can run it at 100 percent 15,000 kilowatts. You're you're joking. We're good. The batteries are instantly filled. Oh my god. That solved all the problems. We can turn on the concrete, boys. We can turn back on the concrete driller over here. And it's a real shame I can't build that, like, adjacent to that. I mean, I can, but it's scummy. Because you've got to install those on an unquarried rock face. And because of one of the mods we've got for the aesthetics, I can I can technically do just like that. That actually alone might be enough. There you go. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I thought I crashed the game. And there you go. Right, okay, let's put that there. And then we reinstall the little robot guy to here when it's reinstalled. Then we've got automatic concrete production. That is scummy, isn't it? Did you just take that apart and then rebuild it? Why did you do that? <laughs> so I'll put that to there. You drop it there. You take it and we concrete. Holy shit. Like, this was totally unintentional, but we've got automatic concrete production. This is amazing. And all it took was building a nuclear reactor to do it. Bear in mind, these things are what? 1,700 watts piece? Wow, I'm so glad I traded with that trade ship now. Otherwise, that would have been a mistake. Okay, hold on. Uh, let's throw down some more batteries. Um, I mean, I can surround the nuclear reactor with that. It's not as if they're flammable or explosive or anything, right? We've clearly got the capacity to max it out. The question is, what the hell am I going to use all that power on? It's totally unnecessary. 
there's no point running the reactor at a way higher usage because we're just going to burn the rods out sooner. Though, to be fair, you do need some of the rods for other things, don't you? We might as well just drop that down until we're like just at where we need to be for power. If we turn on the ENIAC, that's 5,000 watts. So let's run it at 50%. Make sure everything's turned on. And then, oh, the, the fishes. I hope they survive. Then we can run... Uh, then we can just increase the nuclear reactor back up to where we need it to be in terms of power. This is fine. Let's get rid of those. So how are we looking currently? 1,000 watts excess. So let's crank that up to 60%. Gives us 2,000 watts. 70% roughly takes us to 4,000 watts excess. I think that's safe. It might even be worth taking apart all these geothermal generators and completely locking the base down, but I'm alright with that. Do you use water as you cool? Maybe, because you're not filling at a consistent rate anymore, are you? So what we might want to do is actually put down another water pump specifically for keeping the nuclear reactor cool. That's a cool integration. Oh, this is so good. This is like opened everything up. We can go butt wild now. 1.7 days. Celebrate. Let's get this idea legend reformed and make it match kind of what we're doing now a bit better. You've taken all the clothes that were intended for our volunteers. How are they doing? L no, no dresses made it down there. For God's sake. Hopefully this party will be much better quality given that the whole room is concrete. In fact, if we're making concrete so consistently and quickly. Oh shit, hold on, hold on. We could have it pack the concrete automatically too. If we do this, critical, and then say concrete. Because we can increase the radius where it can grab resources from. If we go like that and then overclock it so it grabs it from further. But like, oh, I, I didn't need to do that actually because it was already within the radius, but that's fine. We can... We can have this guy pack concrete for us too. Oh, we can make it reinforced. Ooh. Okay, don't worry about it for now. Don't worry about it for now. Have we got enough steel? We've got enough steel. We can make everything out of reinforced concrete. That's concrete, but better. That's concrete and steel. This is a celebration. This is a celebration of massive dwarf victory today. Fun rock calling. Six to seven. Okay, three more points. Three more points. Leader speech. 60%. 60%? Is that all? Why? Because crafty shit social. We haven't got many people to participate. Well, we just have to go for it, aren't we? What else can we do? Do we have another ritual? Uh, let me have a look here. Uh, we got reverse engineering feed to the pigeons. Right, that's it. Okay, so don't mess this up. Otherwise, it's going to go on cooldown for ages. We need this. Crafty, we need this. Come on. Yes, seven to nine. Inspirational. Now, if we're going to find one thing to reverse engineer, we've got it. We've got the reformation. Um, somebody said try re reverse engineering these. Oh, uh, co random commenter. You're a genius. You are an absolute genius. And shit. Okay, we can do it again though, right? We can, we can just give it another go. Uh, where'd you put those? Arco teleporter. Here we are. Um, oh. Shit, we can only do it once every 20 days. Oh, balls. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, we're like one point off. That's so painful. <laughs> we got to wait 20 days to reform it now, you moron. Well, I mean, I consider this an absolute success. Grandfather Alliance have turned up. Can we get these ships to park somewhere else? Because this is terrible. Parking, landing, expand landing zone. Here we are. Uh, let's move you away from the middle of the area where you're probably going to get shot at horribly. I don't think I can land there because it's mountain roof. You know what? We'll sort that out tomorrow. It's not relevant. Uh, thank you for joining me today. I mean, what a what a victory. How we solved the biggest problem they had, and that was that was power. And with that, we can go butt wild on this research. The second we got multi allies, we've got that. We've got the ENIAC. We've got the research terminal that does give 20% extra speed. So we're going to be blitzing through these when we throw down... In fact, if we swap those cabinets... Magical. There we are. Then we can throw the multi-analyzer there. There's room for both. They should connect up to everything. Amazing. This is great. Has it been fantastic work? They're all doing fantastic as per usual, but this is... This is nice. And this is just the beginning, right? I think there are two reactors that are bigger than this. Both turbines and actual reactors, too. So that's... uh. Something for the future, I think. We've got lots to do here. We'll start working through those when I'm comfortable. We've got prosthetics. Maybe some armor. I'd like to give everybody a separate armor set, as per usual, because I hate when they when, when you get these kind of uh, homogenous uh, colonies that all look the same and act the same and shoot the same guns. I'm not about that life anymore. That was 2011. That was 2021. What year is it? I'm th thank you for watching. You've seen it. You can't unsee it. Thank you to Grayson Tagger, Catlord, John Keltigar, your Fiala, Orgthal, Eight Huntsman, Sir Royland, Drastanus, Rambler Uno, Passy 696, Nash EQ, Snowdog TW, Kathleen, Cleveland, Lupus, Bill Sasparella, and 
Dying Whisper for their support over at Patreon. Thank you all for bearing with me over the past couple of days. Uh, you're just trying not to, not to collapse. Everything's fine. We're all doing, we're all doing good here. How are you? Thank you to Heck, Zany, Glenn Evans, Furpo11, Rave Pirate, Jordan, Justin Rules, Fang, Swiftwing, Jonah Waters, Dan Lopter, James, Scott, Dockery, Neko, Matthew, Elijah Hyatt, Dan does a thing, Beanbag, Tosser, Cody, Defaults, Yarrow, Central Kazoo, Derek Robbins, Slinger, Supporting Sam, Super Cuca... Suka... Cucapunga... <laughs> off. One who knocks, Rams and Mother, Ristel, and Alyssa V. It's a <laughs> banning you, <laughs> banning you when I'm done.